Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV over here at EWA in Nuremberg, Germany. I'm at the Grand Power booth. Everyone knows the Strybog. I'm here with Eric of Grand Power. He's going to talk to us about a new variation of the Strybog that's available or should be available shortly, right? It's available in the U.S. as we speak. So uh, brand new for this year. Uh, we're bringing out the Strybog with a Glock magazine lower. It's not going to be compatible with your standard standard Strybog because you know, the bolt, the bolt shape is different. The Glock feeds from a, a single feed magazine, right. whereas a, a standard double stack, double feed magazine has a different bolt shape. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we're bringing it. They're already for sale in the US as we speak, uh, available in all the different lengths, you know, five and a half inch pistols with, with a brace for now. Mm -hmm. um, and then this version that you have is uh, what, like a this is like a 12 inch? I think 13? a 13 and a half. Yeah, 13 yeah. and a half inch. Yeah. Zero. So it gives you an extra extra handguard, you know, M lock all the way around. Uh, really comfortable. But I think, you know, a five and a half inch barrel with a with a suppressor on it. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. So, what other variations are we going to have? We're going to have the five inch for five sure inch, with yeah, a brace. For sure. Uh, eight inch with a brace as well. Uh, and then there's uh, the, RS, the SR9, which is this one. Uh, so that's a, a 10 inch, 13 and a half, uh, all the way up to 16 and a half. I'm not sure how, it, which versions are for sale in the U.S., but for Europe, you know. You guys are going to have a lot of different ones. Oh yeah, yeah. And I mean, the 16 inch version is going to make sense for the United States because, bear in mind, that's the minimum length that you need for it to be considered yeah. a rifle and not a, a short rifle, barrel rifle. And you can put an actual stock on it, so yeah. Yeah, right exactly. So that would make a lot of sense for you guys to bring that. So what are we talking about in terms of pricing on these? Well, uh, I'm not sure about the U.S. MSRP. Uh, in Slovakia, we're looking at about 12-ish, 12 1,200 12, euros, mm -hmm. 1,300. Okay, yeah, and sometimes it's less expensive in the United States. A lot of people don't realize that, but it can be less expensive than, you know, whatever it costs in Slovakia or wherever in, in Europe. It actually is because uh, the volume of sales is, like, unparalleled so you know see that guys just keep buying guns you got to keep the prices down just buy more guns right yeah but exactly talk to me about like if i didn't know what the grand power strybog was what type of gun is this what are we dealing with right so it's a pcc in nine mil but it's not a straight blowback as most pccs are it's a roller delayed action so right here is a delaying roller uh makes for a smoother shooting gun you know nicer recoil Works really well with a suppressor. You don't need to adjust anything. See, what I think happened is uh, that that was a Glock dog and that was a 1911 dog. I mean, they were just, just going at it. I get it. I get it. You know, people are passionate. Dogs are passionate about our guns over here. So. Back to what we were saying. Back to what we were saying, yeah. Uh, so all the versions come with a standard half by 28, you know, thread, thread on the muzzle. So uh, they all work great with a, with a suppressor. Uh, even in full auto, you know, subsonic ammo works no problem. And it's really pleasant to shoot. There's no, there's no gas in your face. Well, and to be clear then, if I want the Glock magazine one, I'm basically, I'm, I'm buying a new gun. Now, that, that isn't y'all's fault per se it's the way that the magazine geometry works but if i want the glock version i'm not talking about swapping parts i'm buying a whole new gun correct yeah correct yeah okay i mean you know the, them's the knocks but there are a lot of people out there who have a ton of glock magazines like this guy right here so actually it would make a lot of sense for many shooters out there especially in the united states to go with this version thank you for walking me through it guys we're going to go back to the booth take some b-roll of all the different models available but stay tuned for more ewa coverage from tfb tv showtime